Hey YouTube, this is Joe, and what you see before you is a clone of the Spyderco uh, Pingo Model C163, the LMAX version. So uh, I'm going to show you that today. Uh, this is an unboxing and first impressions. I got it yesterday, but I just busted the box open today. Here's the box that came in, your typical Spyderco box. Nothing extra in there. There it is. I'm um, going to read off some stats uh, for you before I uh, get, read off any stats. Uh, we're going to measure it up, we're going to cut with it too, but um, at, I uh, got this at the, at the recommendation of a, uh, a subscriber. His name is uh, Mark Gray, so I wanted to give him that credit. Thanks to Mark for uh, pointing this one out to me. Him and I talk a lot on the uh, on YouTube channel about the different knives, and he's always throwing some recommendations at me, and this is one of the ones he recommended, and I, I took the plunge. This one um, comes from Ally Express. Uh, it was I got it for sixteen eighty three, um, and it took three weeks United States. So let's take a look at it. I have it in my hand for now. It is a uh, as I said, it's the clone of the um, the C one sixty three Pingo. The blade style is a sheep's foot blade. Uh, the blade length is 2.17 inches, overall length 5.19 inches. We're going to put it against the ruler in a few minutes. Blade material, even though the, the blade, you know, the clone is claiming to show LMAX, LMAX on it, excuse me. Um, the site blatantly says it's a 7CR13 um, steel. Uh, what else? Stainless steel handle, wire clip. It's a slip joint, no locking system. We're going to weigh it up. I'll tell you that too, how much it weighs. So let's take it around a little bit. Now, I'm not going to, uh, even though I'm going to men some, mention some similarities to the real one, now, I never had the real one. Uh, but I, I'm going to point out a few things I just happened to notice. I mean, a quick notice. The blatant obvious thing is the, um, on the real one, this the spider symbol is colored in in like a nice blue and here it's not uh... there are a few other uh... quick differences again i just did a quick look um, on the real one obviously it's a real LMAX this one it's 7CR13 steel on the real one it is uh... titanium handles and this one is stainless steel and i also noticed on the real one there's jimping right here and here there's no jimping um, i'm sure there are other differences but that's just a quick a quick look so I didn't go down and deep into it of the differences but I just want to you know talk about this knife as it is as a knife so let's uh, let's wait up now I have weighed it before and I'm gonna say this is probably for the size of this knife this is probably the heaviest little knife I've ever seen it's gonna clock in at 4.28 ounces for such a small knife. And for those of you who want grams, where is it? There you go. 121.4 grams. It's a satin blade, which I like. Now you're going to see me wipe this down. So it gets. It's a super fingerprint magnet. Uh, let's put it against the dollar to show you size. As you can see, very small knife. Against the ruler. Put it against one knife that I recently reviewed. It's the um, Kershaw Showtime. And that is not a big knife by any stretch of the imagination. As you can see, the Showtime is much bigger. There's a review for the Showtime, so you can see it in my description, or we'll have it coming across the screen right now. We have annotations on. So, let's see. I have some some paper handy. Let's see how that goes. Now, I believe the real one. Goes for I don't know if there's a sale run right now. I believe the, the real one goes for like two hundred dollars. And that's you know I wasn't expecting much for sixteen dollars, but 
Not too bad. Yeah, it pulls the paper slightly, but does a good job with the cutting. It's pretty, let's see, the centering. That's coming out. It's pretty centered. I, I don't know about anyone else. I, per se, cannot open this up with one hand. Maybe I'm a spaz. I mean, I'm sure I can feel it will give, uh, but I, I can't. I have to open it up with two hands. So I gotta say, overall, I mean, just opening it now, just cutting with it now, never having a pingo before. I gotta say, I kind of like this one. I think uh, Mark was right. Uh, has a nice feel. The the weighted, I believe, I believe the real one because of the titanium is like three ounces, and this is what did I say before? Four point something ounces. So this is a you know little heft in your pocket, but it's nice though. And it's relatively inexpensive. I mean, think about it. what are you going to use this knife for? You know, it's a quickie, gentleman's knife in your pocket. You know, some cutting of boxes, quick cut of rope. Seventeen dollars. So if you, you know, if you're looking for that, you know, I'm not going to tell you this is going to replace the Pingo any day, any day of the week. You know, the Pingo's got a lot more going for it. Though I got to admit, uh, I'm not feeling paying two hundred dollars for the real thing. But. This little guy, you know, if you look, if you like that design, but you can't afford it, it's odd though that they 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 copied a lot about this knife, but yet they didn't copy the, you know, I don't understand my my father's old saying when he was alive was uh, do a job right or don't do it at all. So again, I know I'm I'm bitching that I don't like, you know, when a knife uh, looks exactly like the real thing to be sold as such I agree that's not you know that's I do not like that but they went 99 percent I mean they gave you the box that looks the same they gave you the the, the writings are on here which like, like I've been mentioning in a lot of my videos I don't like so if you did all that what stopped you from making the the blade I mean the handle um, with the blue uh, spider on it I don't get it I mean though I should be happy that it's not because again that'll blatantly show that it's not a real pingo but uh, why not take it one step further and just not have the symbol and make it a cheap uh, cheap box that's a cheap plain box I, don't, I just don't get it you know why why try to take it look act like you're taking it the whole route and then you don't so I'd like to hear from those of you who have the real version of this knife. How much you like it, uh, how much you got it for. I think there might be a sale running on it right now. I'm not sure on Knife Center. Here's the back. I think if I remember Mark saying, yeah, he liked this so much, he might. I think he picked up a second one. Looks like the, the clip can go on both sides. pretty cool. Alright, so just a quick unboxing, first impressions, and my first impressions is I like it. I'm glad I got it. So, there you have it. The clone of the Spyderco Pingo model C163. The, you know, that one has the LMAX steel. This one does not. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Take care. God bless and have a very nice day. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed my video. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks everyone. Take care.